हेलो बच्चो लेट सीट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज डेट आ स्मॉल बॉब टाइड एट वन एंड ऑफ ए थीन स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ वन मीटर इज डिस्क्राइबिंग अ वर्टिकल सर्कल सो डेट द मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमम टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग आर इन द रेसियो फाइव इज टू वन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉब एट द हाइएस्ट पोजिशन इज डैश मीटर पर सेकेंड टेक जी इज इक्वल टू टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन First of all, we will see what will be the key concept used to solve this question. The key concept is to solve this question will be maximum tension is at lowest position. Maximum tension is at lowest position, and minimum tension is at highest position so in case of vertical circular motion the maximum position uh, maximum tension is that lowest position and minimum tension is at highest position suppose this is a vertical circle in which the circular motion is taking place and this is the point of suspension which is at the center this is the bob so at lowest position it will have a speed v1 in this direction the weight will act downward mg and the tension will be the in, in the string in upward the, and the length of the string is l so this distance is l now at highest position what happens the tension in the string is in downward direction this will be t mean and this will be t max and also the weight of the bob is in downward direction and the velocity will be in this left direction b2 so we will have t max minus mg is equal to mv1 square by l this is because centrifugal force will act outward this is equation 1 and at the highest position centrifugal force will act outward so that will be mv2 square by l so at the in that case t min plus mg that will be equal to m v2 square by l this is equation 2 now we have been given the ratio of maximum and minimum tension in the string is 5 is to 1 so t max by t min is equal to 5 by 1 or from here we have t max from equation 1 is mg plus mv1 square by l so mv1 square by l plus mg by t min h mv2 square by l minus mg this will be mv2 square by l minus mg this is the minimum tension that will be equal to 5 is to 1 so from here we will have mg plus mv1 square by l is equal to 5 mv2 square by l minus 5 mg or m will get cancelled so we will have 6 g plus v1 square by l is equal to 5 v2 square by l let us call this as equation 3 now we will do energy conservation at point lower point and higher point so at lower point we have if this is the datum potential energy is equal to 0 and kinetic energy at half mv1 square and at higher point potential energy is equal to mg into h is 2r 2l so this will be 2l because the length of the string is l so this will also be l 
So at higher point, it will be equal to 2n plus half m v2 square. So from here, we will have v1 square is equal to v2 square plus 4gn. So we will put this value of v1 square in this equation. So we will have 6g plus v2 square plus 4gl by l is equal to 5v2 square by l. So from here we will have 6gl plus v2 square plus 4gl is equal to 5v2 square or from here we will have v2 square is equal to 10 4 v2 square is equal to 10 gl or v2 square will be equal to 2 point or 10 by 4 gl 10 by 4 gl this will be v2 square so if we put the value of g and l we will have v2 square is equal to 10 into 10 g is 10 and l is 1 meter length of a string is 1 meter so 10 into 10 into 1 by 4 that will be 25 so from here v2 will be equal to 5 meter per second this will be v2 so v1 square will be equal to v2 square plus 4 g a that is 25 plus 4 into 10 into 1 so that will be 65 so v1 will be equal to root under 65 meter per second so we have been asked the velocity of the bob at highest point so that is v2 so that is 5 meter per second so the final answer is 5 hope you all understood it well best of luck